Hi all there, Pound a Second here with another corn roll hunting video. I uh, am going to hunt the box of pennies that I had in the live stream here recently. I went through the box of nickels live and I'm going to do the penny box. I already, I already opened it and it is circulated. There's 50 rolls um, or bank wraps rolls. Anyway, so I'm gonna hunt this and I will bring you back when I have some finds. Or I will do a wrap up after each 10th roll. See you soon. Hello, I'm, I'm back. I'm part way through roll number four. And I have my first sweet scent. It's facing away from me, so I don't know what year it is yet. It is. 1940 Philly. I'll put that right there. And this is just some 70s and 60s that I'm thinking about putting in uh, these folders I got for some young people in the community that I'm going to be sending them one of every year that, that I have available of wheat since that's not in my collection. And then I thought I'd just fill in the 50s or 60s and 70s that I find in this box. Then is that the folder goes up to 1974 that I picked up for them. Anyway, uh, so that's my first wheat. It's a 1940 Philly. And I will bring you back when I have another find. Hi guys, I'm back. I'm just a few a few more coins into this roll, and I have another backwards facing wheat. My second one of the box, and I'm still in roll four. And this is a 1945 Philly. So two forties wheats already in this box. Off to a good start, and I'm only in roll four. I'll bring you back when I have another find. Hi guys, I'm back. I'm almost to the end of roll seven and I've got another backwards facing wheat. It is 1945, I believe it's got a mint mark. Yes, a D, a 45D. I picked up a few 2009s over here. Right over here is the 2009s, and then I've got several seven, early 70s, 60s, and there's a 59. Let me go ahead and finish this roll here. in that row. Anyway, I'll bring you back on the next find. Hi guys, I'm back. I'm about halfway through roll number nine and I have another wheat. It is a 1952D. So that's my first 50s wheat of the box and I will bring you back with the next find. Hi guys, I'm back. I've got just a few coins left in roll number nine. And I've got another wheat. This one is a 1958. And I believe it's got, yes, it's got a D mint mark. My second 50s wheat. So I've got five wheats so far, two, three 40s and two 50s, and I'm only nine rolls in. I'll bring you back with the next find. Hi guys, I'm just a little ways into roll number 15. And I've got a backward facing wheat right here on the and what year is it it is 1956 D so that is my third 50s wheat I have six wheaties so far in the box after 15 rolls well I've still got part of fifth roll 15 left search I will bring you back with the next find Hi guys, I'm back. I'm part way into roll number 16. 
actually a little over halfway and I've got a backwards facing wheat and it is a 1958D so that makes four from the 50s. I will be back with my next find. Hi guys, I'm back. I'm about two thirds of the way into roll number 19 and I have another backwards facing wheat. I'm getting ready to turn around and see what it is. It is 1958 Philly. I now have 550s and 340s so far in wheats. I will bring you back with the next find. I'm back. I'm at the end. The last, the next to last coin in roll number 24 is a backward facing wheat, and it is 1957D. Another 50s wheat. I will bring you back with the next find. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, I am about halfway through roll number 25. And I have another week. It is a 1957D. That makes seven in the 50s and three in the 40s. I now have 10 weedies. And I will be back with my next find. Hi guys, I'm back again. I'm still in roll number 25. And I've got just a few coins left in the roll. And I have another week. This one is a 1945. A 1945S. That makes four 40s and 11 weeks all together. At the midway point of the box. Doing really well for a bank wrapped box. I'll bring you back with the next find. Hi guys, I'm back. This is part way into rule number 35. And I have my next wheat. It's a backward facing. And it looks like it is a 1945 Philly. So that gives me five 40s. Looks like 750, so that makes a total of 12 weedies so far. After 30, and we're in, I'm in roll 35. I'll bring you back with the next find. Hi guys, I'm just a little ways into roll number 48, and I've got my next week, and this time it is an older one. A 1929 Philly. So I've got my first 20s wheat of the box. And that is now my 13th week. I will bring, be back with my next find or with the box wrap up. See you soon. I'm back. I just finished the last roll of this box. And I'm going to show you my wrap up. I had... Three formative years, 2009s. I had nine professional life. I had one presidency. And then I had a 1966, I believe. Yeah, 1966 Canadian penny or cent. And then for my wheats, I had 1929 Philly. A 1940 Philly, two 1945 Phillies, a 1945 D, and a 1945 S. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I had a 1952 D, 1956 D, two 1957 Ds, a 1950. 1958 Philly and two 1958Ds. I also pulled out four that are in real nice shape from the 70s, 80s, and 90s to check against my folders to see if they are going to be upgrades or not. And then I also pulled out these are all 59s and then those are all 60s 
and those are all 70 to 74 because I'm going to check and see if they are, if I can find a good one to put in a, a folder that I'm fixing up for a couple of different kids that I'm going to be sending out in the near future which I'll film the what I'm putting in the box for for each person as I send it out or as I get ready to mail it I'll show everything that I'm putting into the package as I put it in the package anyway so it's not a bad little box for a bank wrap box Thirteen two thousand nines, one Canadian, and then I had one twenties wheat, um, five forties wheats there, and then I had three six seven fifties wheats. So not bad. <clears throat> I want to thank everyone for watching. This has been my, um, a penny penny box hunt. Thank you for watching. I want to um, remind everyone that please like and subscribe. And I will have my email in the description down below if you want to contact me or if you want to send me something. I'll have my mailing address in the description down below. Now, as always, everyone have a wonderful day and be safe. Bye-bye.